The Olympic golf tournaments will be held on a newly constructed course in a coastal suburb of Rio. Initial construction faced opposition from many quarters, but course architect Gil Hans is known for his environmental awareness, and the layout meets sustainability goals key to the Olympic movement. We use the natural sand on site, so some of the bunkers have a more orange or red color, some are brown, some are white. It was really what was here, and we thought, you know, from a sustainability standpoint, instead of trucking sand to the, a, a sandy site, we'd use the native sand, and the players are going to treat them like real hazards, where they have to really determine, okay, I'm in the brown sand, it's going to play this way, I'm in the white sand, it's going to play that way, and, you know, we think that's a nice addition to the course. Hans was responsible for one of the world's most highly praised new courses in Scotland, Castle Stewart. His Rio design has a linksy look, but is more influenced by courses down under. When we were uh, interviewed for the project, we talked a lot about the sandbelt courses in Australia, around Royal Melbourne, uh, that typical uh, golf course. And I think, you know, we've gotten a lot of compliments this week. We feel like we've hit some of the marks as far as uh, making it look along those lines. So I think if uh, when the viewers tune in, they might get a feel of an Australian golf course. The honour of playing the first competitive shot at the test event earlier this year went to one of Brazil's leading male players, Alex Rocha, who plays on the Web.com Tour in the United States. The golf course is beautiful. It's, uh, it's a masterpiece. They, uh, I, I have never seen the lot before it became a golf course, but uh, what it looks to me like it's been here forever. And I think that's a, a very, very nice compliment to an architect that can get a raw piece of land and transform into something beautiful that looks like it's been part of the landscape forever. It's just beautiful. The course has been deliberately set up to encourage players to make late runs, so prepare for some Augusta-style back nine drama this weekend. We wanted to build a, a stretch in the middle where we felt like, hey, you know, the players really have to bring their game. And then the finishing stretch is a lot easier holes because we were hoping to see more birdies, more eagles, uh, players making moves at the end. My feelings won't be hurt if they shoot very low scores. And, you know, if it's a difficult test, that's fine too. So, you know, it's, it's just one on the given day. If the wind blows, I think this will be a very difficult golf course. If it's a day like today where it's very light wind, you know, I think that the, the players will play very well on it and, and that's fine. The scene is set for golf's Olympic revival, a huge global opportunity for the game. Oh, it's terrific, and especially for the smaller countries in golfing terms. It was those countries that uh, persuaded us, if you like, to, to put golf's credentials forward to the IOC. And they said, look, if, if golf can be in the Olympics, it'll increase exposure for the game in our country, it'll increase government support and financial support, and we're already seeing that even before the Games. And there'll be an Olympic legacy too, with the facility becoming a rare Brazilian public course. For us, it's like a gift from God, because in Brazil, you know that you don't have a lot of players. Then the sport in Brazil is not big. We are very emotional because we were working and waiting for this moment.